Hello, victorious ones. How are you doing? I hope everyone is having an amazing, golden, victorious day in the Lord. So I'm coming on here to quickly share some things that I learned at church today at Jeremiah 29 and verse 11 church. So um, we are dissecting the benediction from Numbers chapter 6. And so I'm looking at my notes so I can share it with you. So um, the Lord told Moses to tell Aaron um, how he should bless his people. And so in Numbers 6, 24 to 26, it says, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. And so this week in church, we um, dissected the first part of that blessing, the benediction. Now we know Benny means good or well. And diction is whatever is spoken, the root words, right? So it's to speak a blessing, to speak what's good over the people. Now let's go on and continue on with this. Let me just go ahead and pull up my PowerPoint so I can share with you. Because you need to know this, that Jesus came so that we can be blessed. He became a curse for us when he was crucified. Because the Bible says curse is anyone that's on a tree, that's hung on a tree. So Jesus came and reversed the curse and has blessed us. Now, what does the word bless mean in that benediction? The word bless is barak in the Hebrew. It means to um, to kneel, right? Barak means to bless and to kneel. And what does that mean? God has given us the power to be successful, to be prosperous, to, to be fertile, to be productive, to, to have riches and to have longevity, et cetera, et cetera, to have all good things. When you are blessed, you are fortunate, you are happy, okay? So when you say you're blessed of the Lord and most highly favored, that means you are wealthy and healthy all around on repeat, okay? And so to kneel, if you want to be blessed, Barak, you have to kneel in the presence of the Lord. And some of the physical um, aspect of kneeling is that when you kneel, it actually helps your body, helps your back, you know? And so, and so it is with the blessings. The blessings help us heal our bodies, right? And so um, even when you are kneeling, it's a sign of surrender and humility. So Barak, which is blessed, means to kneel and when you kneel in the presence of God God will supply all of your needs and God like a father will kneel down to you the Lord bless you the Lord kneels before you as you kneel before him draw near to God and God will draw near to you and God will give you all that you need for he said in my presence there's fullness of joy and at my right hand there are pleasures forevermore for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future which means my plan is to bless you always you're blessed on repeat victorious ones Hallelujah. We are blessed. Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 14.